Page 10, James Bond theme. 4-4 four, four time. So you're in middle C position. You got sharps all over the place. Look out. Just do the right hand. Let's talk about the right hand. You, you have the C and the E. Again, you put your hand in that position, you drop the hand. And the C and the F. Now you have an F sharp. Now an F natural. They don't need the natural sign. I mean, the fact that you crossed a bar line, the F sharp doesn't count anymore. But they're being nice. They put in a natural. That's nice. Nothing wrong with it. You just don't need it. And then it, you're going back up. Now, page 11, you got quarter notes. Start with the last measure of the first line. Rest, two, three, four, and tie. That's tied. Careful. And then the same thing later in the second line, and then the third line down. Now they tell you in your move, they want you to go put your, just reach up and put your fourth finger on the G sharp. Just and then G natural third finger, and then you have a quarter rest. You come back down for the D sharp, and then E. That's tied. You can hang on to that for a while. And then in the next line at the end of it, it's the same thing. G sharp, G natural, and then come back down. And you make these moves anytime during the rest. I usually do it right before I need it. The point is you need to be where you need to be before you need to play the note. Sometimes you can't. You have to move and play immediately. But if you can, move first so you're in position before you play the note. I usually do it like a beat before, but it's a personal thing, and you'll decide when you're going to move eventually. And then at the end, it's an F or a C and an F sharp together. Mm, that sound nice. For the left hand, we're starting out over here with whole notes. It's pretty simple. So go over to the top of page 11 with the quarter notes. It's here. Tie. You have a tied note there. It's one, two, three, four. Tie. Two, three, four, one. Second line is very similar to it. Go down to the third line. We have here. One, two, three, four. Come up on four to rest. And just watch the rhythm very carefully because the two notes are playing the melody together and they're taking turns on different notes. And, you know, at third line, last measure, the last note, you're a B. You, you just come down one one note. You hear because you've been here, now you come here. Just here. So it's here. Then the fourth line, first measure, your, your B is tied over on beat one and then it's two, three, four. F sharp and that's tied over for a few notes and then you come back up to where you were for the A. Last line you go back down so your thumbs on B again and then the A you tie over. It's tied plus there's a fermata. I'm going to hold that fermata down four extra counts so it's eight total on the fermata on the last measure. Work it out one hand at a time and make sure you can play these rhythms and all correct. And then you can put them together. And you, at the beginning, you're going to hold the A down four counts. You're going to hold it down while you play the half note. And then you lift the half note up when you play the next A. And then here. And then again. And when you can get that, then go put in the time. It's Count it. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one. And it goes all the way across until you get over to the quarter notes at the top of page 11. So it's one, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie, two. Three. All of this is melody. Then it takes you down to the third line. Watch out, this gets a bit tricky. It starts out here. One, two, three, four. That comes on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you want to connect all those notes. I mean, there's rests because you're only playing one note at a time, but as a melody, they're all connected. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tie two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tie two. See, it's just the rhythm is like, what are they thinking? Well, again, start with the third line down, last measure. 
It's one, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four, tie, two, three, rest, again, fourth line down, third, fourth major over, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You're going to hold that down and then play the this chord and hold that down until you get tired of it and you're done. Very tricky. You work it out really slowly to get the notes and the rhythms and all your fingering worked out and everything working. Then you can gradually speed it up. Because if you're familiar with the James Bond movies, you know this moves. Starts out softly. And then at the top of page 11, you have a crescendo. That arrow is to get louder up to a medium loud. Third line down, now you're loud. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stand. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Like so, very edgy. Lots of syncopation going on here. So, take it real slow and just gradually speed it up over time. Now, at the end, the the right hand on that C F sharp. There's an accent on that note. You see the little sideways arrow thing underneath it. It's an accent. I mean, play a little extra. Just a little oomph. Give it, give it a little, just a little louder than you'd normally play it. Piano can't do a true accent. We'll cover that in the regular method book. Here you just give it a little extra oomph. What I would like to do is check the notes and the rhythms with you. I'm not going to do the dynamics or any of that. and just notes and rhythms. Very slowly so we can see, make sure your counting is correct. So go ahead and put your hands in middle C position and we'll start. I'll give us four counts and we'll play it together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Two. I'd like to do that duet with you. I'll do the teacher accompaniment part, 
and you'd play this piece, but I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Maybe not full speed, but at least a little bit. So I'll give us four counts. And we're going to go about a speed about a, about a one, two, about a one, two, about that speed. So go ahead and put your hands here. Now I need you to go up an octave again. So just pretend middle C is an octave higher on the keyboard and you're up here. That's fine. And we come in together here, so we'll just give us four counts. We'll both start. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four, off. 